AJ, how good does that win feel? It feels unbelievable, yeah. Obviously, we knew the record they had coming here undefeated yeah. in the league so far. We really like felt, you know, on Tuesday night we played really well. We felt like if we matched those performance levels, we could get something today. And uh, fair play to the lads, because we've been Tuesday, Saturday for three weeks now. So many games, and we're down to the bare bones. Like, you see Maxi Mullins coming on up front, you know, with five minutes to go. But, you know, the spirit and the character and the togetherness that we've shown, like, with the fans in the corner and the players on the pitch, the staff, the players on the bench, was, was unbelievable. So, um, yeah, we're buzzing, to be fair. But we can't get too carried away. We're 15 games in, and um, I feel like we can be pleased with the start we've had. See another part of that massive win is a clean sheet as well. It's yeah. something that you know we haven't actually got too often this season. So I think that's that actually feel... Geordie's first as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So that must feel brilliant, yeah. doesn't it? No, it's, to be fair, Geordie's been been very good, and um, obviously got suspended. Jack come in, and we got one away at Files. Yeah. But to get him a clean sheet, like it feels like it's, it's been a long time coming, and we need to do that more. You know, we're not the, the biggest side, but I think we've been defending our box better of recent last sort of five six games. Like especially from like Boreham Woods, like onwards it feels like we've come together and there's a bit more um, desire to defend our box, which is great. But we need to keep doing that now. You know, it's no good doing it for four or five games and then we have four or five games off it. We've got to try and find a level of consistency. You mentioned there, you know, the, the really tough run we've had on the legs. Obviously, as a player, is, 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 that, is it the momentum that sometimes gets you through it? Or just, yeah. or just the stuff, well, the light at the end of the tunnel of it? Yeah, personally, I actually love it. I love playing Tuesday, Saturday because you don't have to train as much. Yeah. So it's like, you know, one or two training sessions a week, then you recover for a game. And, you know, if you have a performance where you feel personally or collectively you've not quite been at the levels you want, you've always got another game to then go and rectify it. So it is tough on the legs. There's, there's no doubt in that, especially with... You know, the amount of added time we've been getting um, wasn't so bad today, but in general, you know, looking at about 10, 11 minutes in some games, so the distance goes up, the load goes up. So, um, you know, you know, like people like Brad and, and Liam, they're really good at managing our load and making sure that you know, the lads stay as healthy as possible. You talked about the togetherness around the whole first team. Is that something that helps you, obviously, as well? Like, we, we go into every game confident that we can score, so again, as the defence, is that something that gives you a bit of confidence as well? Yeah, no, I think so. I think um, with the amount of like new players that came into the club in the summer, it was never going to be like click your fingers, game day one, um, everybody gels. So I think you know the group needed some time to come together. But for me now, like obviously wearing the, the armband in um, Stuart's absence, but I've noticed a big difference in terms of the way people are connecting with each other and building those relationships, understanding like when people run, like what types of run they make. So building that, that cohesion, that togetherness, like I said, it's never going to be a quick fix, but it, it feels like it is starting to come now, which is great.